Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. I've got this beautiful journal to share. This is a design team project for Red Deer Printables and this is her beautiful, beautiful kit called Cherry Blossom. It's actually um, the one that she sent me, a mini book kit, digital kit, but I love the glassine bag size journal and so I just resized the pages to be able to fit this size journal, but you can definitely do it smaller and that also shows you can resize them to smaller, bigger, that kind of thing. Um, the cover is just so beautiful as is with the lace and the florals, the butterfly in this piece here. I added some, what's this called, black lace and it's kind of shimmery, not sure if that will show up, but got this really nice shimmer to it. Thank you so much to Karen who gave me this lace. Um, I've used a bit of it throughout this journal and then I've done something a little different with this journal and included some boho fabric pieces or ribbon pieces <laughs> and just to show that I um, wanted to put some on the front to kind of give a glimpse of what's inside I suppose and something special. I just really love it. So it is um, textured and that's why I wouldn't put this on the inside because it's quite, oh sorry, it's quite bumpy but I just love how it looks on the cover. It's kind of transparent as well so you can still see through to the background. Um, here is the back, beautiful beautiful. Um, again the lace and the lace is just going across the spine and then this is a different type of lace but still similar so I was glad to find two similar laces and it's also got some shimmery greens and pinks in there um, and then I've also got some lots and lots of lace on the sides like I normally do which I love doing this and I've got some charms so we've got the made with love heart We've got this beautiful fan because it is slightly oriental themed in this journal as well. And some pink jewels here. And thank you to Karen again for these. She sent me these in a happy mail as well. Same with this one. This is more a purpley pink. Jewels. Love that. And then a key here. So pretty. <laughs> I love it. So I just love looking at the journal from the side. Um, a bit of trim at the top here, the fibres and also a bit of lace at the bottom that sticks out and it's one of my fully embellished ones, just went nuts with the kit, <laughs> trying to show off the kit as much as I could and let's do a flip through. Alright so in this pocket here we've got a few different things, <laughs> I'm really liking putting multiple bits of ephemera into the pockets now. So love that this one you could probably write the details of the journal here um, if you wanted. <laughs> um, tickets and these are the papers, these um, fully sized are the pages that I use but then I cut them down and size them smaller to make journal cards. So I really love doing that, having it as a page and also as a journal card. And it just really ties in the theme really well together and I love these postcards using them as pockets and also as ephemera. And just each page of this kit is so beautiful. I love it, especially with the lace and of course the beautiful florals. So tuck spot here. Got this beautiful one with the birds and the flowers. Um, coffee dyed papers and it is a pink themes journal as well. So lots of pink papers in here too and the paper clips are pink. <laughs> in here is a little journaling card as well and this cute little envelope and I love the paper clips are metallic as well. Some of the beautiful lace, oh <laughs> so pretty. Little tuck spot here, little tag And then this is one of my envelope um, 
page, pocket page, I think I called, called it. <laughs> so there's these little pockets here from the envelope flap. I, I did do a tutorial on this, so I'll link it below if I remember. <laughs> so in this pocket of the envelope I put this note paper to write on for more journaling space and I thought these flowers fit in well with the cherry blossoms and the pink flowers. Just look at these beautiful, beautiful journal cards. And I do like the um, how it looks like laces, like these eyelets and the cord. I don't know what to call it, but that looks really cool too. Here's some more of that black lace. Thank you, Karen. So glad to be able to use it. Here's a little uh, belly band with the journal, oh, no, tag, <laughs> paper bag, and... Another journal card here. Some more beautiful pink lace here. And there's the charm on that one. Tuck spot here. And again, you can see I've just tried to do all different types of tucks. Top, bottom, <laughs> and different directions. And this one also has um, sewn ephemera in here where I've sewn some floral pictures onto coffee dyed paper so you can still journal on the back and it's the cherry blossom so I definitely had to include that in this journal tag here I just like the soft fibers here the trims and in this pocket here I like this Kind of reminds me of like a Japanese type garden, but just beautiful. I really like that picture. And I think it fits so well with this journal theme as well. I really like this colour on this page, like a teal. Pocket here with a round bit of ephemera. And I wanted to include a fabric flip with this floral fabric because it is the soft kind of pale pink flowers to tie in with the cherry blossoms and beautiful beautiful boho trim and thank you Andrea she also sent this one at the front and it's my first time using boho elements in a journal like really trying to get out of my comfort zone try something new and stop hoarding basically <laughs> But, but doesn't it look amazing? I mean, ah, this page is one of my favourites just because this is so beautiful. Now you can see why I was hoarding this forever. <laughs> and then a black organza bag just fits in well again with the pink and black theme with some journaling spots. I just love it, the lace. Again, the black and the pink and oh, just so beautiful. Anything that I think fits well with the theme of the journal, I just pull out and then try to put it all in here. There's that gorgeous little charm. Another little tuck spot here. Little ticket and little tag. And I did have some beautiful origami style oriental paper that I got for Christmas. Well, not last year now, the year before. And that's how long I've been hoarding it for. I've hoarded it for over a year. How crazy is that? So time to use it. So pretty. So extra journaling space. Love this floral lace pocket. It's beautiful. And this large um, journal card, postcard, so pretty, ah, oh. and tuck spot here with some more florals that I've backed onto coffee dyed paper, and more of the black lace, I included one of my coffee dyed envelopes here, and then little pockets here, more elements from the kit, and another um, pink floral coffee dyed element too. That tucks in there. 
here I have another envelope and a journal spot in there really love this label too <laughs> ever since Johanna Klo and how she uses labels I've been on the lookout for those labels except in blue <laughs> I think I've mentioned that before in a different video <laughs> here's the middle page just so beautiful oh these papers so glad that I could work with this beautiful kit more beautiful floral oriental style paper there's the fan charm and the beautiful beautiful lace <laughs> tag in here and there's the other side I love the window pocket in the envelope so you can see <laughs> this flower picture which is so beautiful backed under coffee dyed paper so so pretty more of the lace more journal cards and a tag in this black organza bag with gold on it and also a little journal card behind there And look at this, oh my gosh, more boho material. Isn't that just beautiful? More tying in the gold and oh, it's just stunning. I like how wide it is too. So it was the perfect size for this flap here. Ah, oh. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> All right, and then a little lace, beautiful, beautiful lace here and journal spot. And here is that charm here, beautiful, beautiful, bit of bling, got to have a bit of bling. And another envelope. And this one has the beautiful butterfly and I love this paper with the blue and the florals. A large flip with this gorgeous gorgeous lace again I was hoarding that for such a long time I've only got a little bit of this left now but now it's good good to de-stash right <laughs> another journal card and a pocket here and I thought this worked well at first I thought, oh look, it's a bird bath, and there's the bird that can go to the bird bath. But no, it's a sundial, <laughs> but still really pretty. You can just picture yourself walking through that garden. And here again, the cherry blossom. And I do love the cherry blossom tree. It's got sentimental significance for me when I used to walk to primary school and home again um, this tree is lining the street or one of the roads anyway was um, alternating of white and pink cherry blossoms and it was so fun when yeah the cherry blossoms would fall to the ground and all the, over the ground you just see all of the blossoms it's so pretty and then when you I love when you're walking through them and the wind blows and all the petals just flutter down <laughs> around you. It's so beautiful. A middle belly band here. And the key. This is such a pretty key as well. I love keys. Key charms are the best. <laughs> and another sewn piece here with beautiful pink blossoms. Here's a little belly band and I've just kind of stuffed it full of different elements. Journal cards, ticket and a round piece. And getting quite chunky now so <laughs> I did have to weigh this down overnight to try and keep it flat but there is more of that beautiful lace and another journal card my favorite one with the blue and I just, oh, isn't that just gorgeous the lace is just amazing 
in here I've got one of the large, large postcards. So I love doing these in different sizes. And over here, this tuck spot, another piece here, and some of that. I love this one. This is so pretty. And a cute heart paper clip. And in this envelope, another journal card there. Now, I always forget how to put these on. <laughs> Sometimes I put it on, it's like, oh, that does not look right. Okay, yes, cool. <laughs> so cute. And cute little elements in here as well. These little pockets are so adorable. Let's put that in front. <laughs> And then we have the back and some more elements to journal on as well. Then in the front pocket what I'm putting in is some leftover elements from the kit. So some more tickets, there are some buttons, there's a tab, some butterflies and some flowers and another round disc and one of the pink coffee dyed paper sewn bits <laughs> a large ticket and journal cards so I'll pop those just in the front pocket this one will also come with a pink ribbon enclosure as well so I'll you know, it's a bit chunky, so, and if you're going to stick other things in there, it will get even chunkier. Um, so you'll need something to kind of close it up, but for now it's okay. It's, I weighed it down, and so it's sitting okay by itself, so that's good. So anyway, <laughs> if anyone's interested in owning this beautiful journal, you can visit my Etsy below, Willowbound Journals. It will be... Um, in the description box below the link to that and thank you so much to Red Deer Printables for just oh, this beautiful kit to work with I will link her Etsy below where you can purchase this kit and other beautiful ones too um, also I'll link her YouTube and her Instagram and Facebook so it's all going to be below if you really like this check her out and go send her some support so thanks guys I'll see you later bye